right, what's going on, everybody? It's Alan Thomas, aka Shadow Assassins, and today I'm gonna give you a tip that'll help you grow your fan base on the Tapas platform or Tapastic for those of you like me that still call it by its old name. And this will actually work for people who have web comics on the platform and just want to expand your audience a little bit more or a lot more depending on what you're doing or if you're actually new to the platform and you have a comic up there but you really don't have a fan base or a following or if you're just thinking about actually putting a web comic on the platform in general this tip will help all of you and it'll help you over time start to build a following now this will take time for some people this happens extremely quickly for others it takes time but it will hurt uh it will hurt it will work nonetheless now, to give you a little bit of backstory as to why I know for a fact that this works is, I've had two web comics, of course, Afro Brain Buster and Shadow Assassins, links are in the description. Afro Brain Buster really was never really a comic that I took too seriously. I did with the webtoons that I put on uh, YouTube because I thought it was just an interesting idea to have my web comic in a moving format, but it was just like a side thing that I did just to break up the monotony of working on Shadow Assassins all the time. But even then, I gained a couple of extra followers that way because it's really small. I think I got less than like even 20 followers for Afro Brain Buster. But for Shadow Assassins, I have well over 100. And what's absolutely astonishing is from old, just over time, I don't think I've updated. Oh my God. It's amazing, I'm just realizing it right now, but I have not updated Shadow Assassins. I haven't let everybody know that I have put the comic on hiatus. I just stopped, which don't do that. Please don't do that if anybody that's listening to this. Oh my God, I haven't updated Shadow Assassins since like July. Like what was I, anyways, oh my God. Even in the almost six months that I haven't updated Shadow Assassins, I've still gained subscribers doing this so it does work and what that basically is is getting active in the forums and communicating with other webcomic artists and fans and talking about your comic now of course nobody's telling you to spam and make 15,000 posts in the forums telling people to read your comic because that's going to get very annoying you're probably going to get uh locked from the forums or banned or something like that you don't want that to happen what you want to do instead, there are actually places to introduce yourself. There are people who will occasionally post in the forum saying that they're looking for a new comic. Find posts like that and actually suggest your own. Make a post talking about your comic and the types of web comics that you're interested in and seeing if people can suggest similar comics to your own that you would like to read. Sometimes by doing that and actually posting a link to your comic there, other people will suggest stuff for you to read as well as read your own. Basically, genuinely care and try to make connections with other people in the forums. There are a lot of actual webcomic creators on the platform that are looking for things to read in their own right and also looking to build their own comics up. But you'll be amazed, there are a lot of people that just read comics that are on there that are just looking for something new or something interesting. Like everybody's always looking for something new but maybe it'll be your comic that they discover. Like they're always trying to find new items. Like there are people up there with like hundreds and hundreds of comics in their like reading list. I don't know how they get to all of them, but they do. And you might be able to actually grab the attention of some of them, but just go into the forums and just scroll through and look at some of the posts and where applicable, just try to let people know about your comic and about your work. The actual pros tip, even though I'm not sure if I'm a pro or not, <laughs> an actual extra tip that I like to give is one trick that I actually use that works. Of course, like with anything else, if you type uh, if you type something into a post in like a form or anything like that, and you highlight it and then attach a link to it, anytime that somebody clicks on those words or anything like that, it'll send you to another tab or another site or anything. It'll send you wherever the link's directed to. What I'd like to do is, just to make sure I'm not being spammy and saying, hey everybody, I have this comic, go check it out and read it. What I would do is, anytime I would mention the words, my comic, in a conversation, rather than put a link telling everybody this is the name of my comic or whatever, or actually having a link 
until my comic in the actual post listed, I would just highlight the words my comic and click in the actual link in the, uh, <laughs> click on the little link, like the, I don't know what the actual icon is, but whatever the thing is to like hyperlink, I would click that for the words my comic and I would type in the URL address for my comic so that anytime anybody would read the post. So let's say for example, I'd be telling people I have a really fun time working on my comic. I would have the words my comic highlighted so if somebody clicked on it, it would take you straight to my comics page so they can read it. <laughs> that actually works too. So there are numerous ways in the forums to get a following and get people's attention. And also, like, making a post to introduce yourself also won't hurt. Like I said, you really just need to get your name and face out there and get people to look at the work that you're doing. But it's best to start with people that are actually doing and interested in what you're already doing. So, yeah, just try that. Just work around in the forums and see what comes from there. It's amazing how many people actually go into Tapas and don't do that. And... You're missing out on a gold mine there because you can actually get a decent following. Even if you only get like 10 subscribers, you can potentially get 10 really loyal subscribers that way. So that's all there is for today. Just a little bit of advice there and advice that has worked for me in the past and hopefully will work for me soon. Uh, if you're already subscribed to me, go ahead and hit the button if you're not. But if you're subscribed to me already, you know that I'm currently working on a new webcomic that I hope to be releasing in January, and I'll be posting it on both Webtoon and Tapas. Hopefully, you all check that out. Also, by the way, I recently started a brand new Patreon account. So I'll be posting my comic in my Patreon page once I get it going. And I'll also be posting like behind the scenes stuff for my comic, as well as like other artwork and like full videos that I like my speed paintings that I do here on YouTube, I'll be posting full videos of those as well in my Patreon and just little behind the scenes access that I don't post anywhere else. You can contribute up to a dollar or five dollars if you want. I don't have a whole bunch of like crazy tiers or anything like that for people to pay for. So it's not that expensive, but your support is appreciated if you decide to do it or not. But that's all there is for today. Y'all hope this helped you like if it did also leave a comment check out the links in my description and i'm about to get drawing on some other things right now hopefully i have a couple speed pains or something to come out later on this week who knows i'm rambling at this point but in any event y'all have a good one and i'm out